So I was talking to my wife. I said, babe, it's time to join the 4K club. I gotta start shooting in 4K. She said, Jonathan, we're about to have a baby. You can't be spending money on things like 4K cameras. I said, please, 4K or no K? That's what I say. Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. I want to start this video by thanking all of my subscribers. We are very close to hitting 1,000 subscribers and I cannot think of a better occasion to go ahead and do another giveaway. So make sure that you stay tuned until the end of this video for more details on that. Today we're going to be doing a modification to one of my NVIDIA video cards. Uh, one of the best ways to improve performance on any gaming computer is to overclock the graphics card. When you overclock the graphics card, there are limitations. So a few of the limitations could be things like cooling, uh, voltage, power delivery, and we're actually going to be talking about the last one I named, power delivery. Uh, so a modification that can be done on an NVIDIA GPU uh, is what's called a shunt mod. The reason it's called that is because there's a shunt resistor on the video card that measures the power coming into the card. So there is a limit to how much power the card can draw. For a GTX 1080, I want to say it's 180 watts. Uh, now some of the aftermarket cards can draw more power. Uh, in all of your overclocking software, there is a slider for the power. Usually, it'll let you go up into the 120% range. Uh, sometimes that's not enough. Uh, today, we are going to try out this hard mod and see if it improves overclocking at all. This modification is done with liquid metal, and we're basically going to short this resistor out and trick the card into thinking that it's drawing less power than it is, which will give more power to our core and hopefully improve overclocks and improve performance. Uh, let's go ahead and dive right in and see if it's worthwhile.
let's go ahead and go over the results. So the last few screens that you saw uh, was of GPU-Z and a benchmark running in the background. So we were testing overclocking there and the highlighted fields were core clock and power draw as well as GPU usage, but it's not as important. It was just to show that the GPU was under full load. So in the second portion of it, when you saw that it was with the shunt mod, our power consumption or TDP showed much less. We were down to 50%, whereas we were hovering around 108 to 110% without the mod. But the limitation was not the power draw. The limitation was actually voltage. So in this instance, for this particular card, this shunt mod did absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Now, I will say that when I was able to keep temperatures down, it would obviously overclock better, but it overclocked better with lower temperatures with or without the mod. So unfortunately for me, this mod was of no use. Now, I'm not saying that it would never be useful. I'm sure there are situations where it would work and it would be uh, beneficial to do the mod. Uh, for me, in this instance, I would say no. I also would not encourage others to do it, especially not on a factory cooler. You have the potential for the card to get extremely hot doing this mod because it does not know how to regulate itself since we're tricking it into thinking that it's actually using less power than it is. I would only recommend this mod if you plan to put the card under water and liquid cool it. Uh, otherwise, I would stay away from this mod. And now this brings us to the portion of the video that I'm sure everyone has been waiting for or fast forwarding for. Uh, we are going to do a giveaway. Again, this is for our 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm so thankful to all of you who have subscribed, all of you that follow us on social media, all of you that get mobile notifications when we upload something. Uh, nothing feels better than to have people rushing to the video to be the first to comment. Nothing feels better than being told that we're doing a great job and that our video quality and production value is on par with much larger channels. So thank you so much for that. And to show my appreciation, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway. I actually just picked up a Ryzen CPU and motherboard. Uh, we're actually going to give away an R3 1300X as well as an Asus Strix B350 motherboard. Uh, it's actually a really nice looking motherboard. Um, it will break my heart to give it away, but I want to give back to you guys. Uh, so make sure that you enter the contest to win. Uh, there will be information down in the description on how to enter the contest. Super excited to give this away. Super excited that one of you are going to get this. I hope it goes to someone who can really use it. Um, I think it's going to be a very good budget setup for gaming. Um, so with that, we're going to end it. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Make sure that you subscribe if you aren't already. Check us out on social media and bash that like button. We'll see you in the next one.